So this video is about um, grid snapping or how to uh, snap things to the grid and you'd be well advised to um, uh, try this out as this uh, um, technical lecture goes on because it's very handy to be able to know how to snap things to the grid um, uh, and uh, it's slightly tricky when you first start out. So let's start off by just creating a polygon primitive cube um, and I'm going to open up the options box and I'm going to go to edit reset settings uh, and create a cube um, and then um, I'm going to zoom in on it uh, actually I'll just go into the inputs on this cube and I'll make it a bit uh, bigger so I'm going to make this 10 units in all directions uh, and I'm going to have um, 10 subdivisions as well no five subdivisions Okay, now I'm going to hit F on my keyboard so I can see it properly. F for frame. And now we have a multifaceted cube. Um, now, if we want this cube to sit on the grid, we can simply go like that and have it sit on the grid. The trouble is, it will never actually sit properly on the grid. Even if I hit the spacebar, uh, and go to the go through panels orthographic side view and even if I move the thing down uh, just like that and really make sure that it's sitting on the grid it's not going to be exact now there is a way I can cheat I can go up here in the um, channel box and I can type 5 in this um, uh, in this um, translate Y channel and hit enter and now it is sitting on the grid but for the most part just eyeballing it doesn't really work so we want a way of being able to snap things to the grid now in this case I can hold down the X key and then move my cube with my left mouse button and that will snap to the grid okay so that's the best way of doing it you hold down X uh, and 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 it will automatically snap to the grid. Now another thing you might want to do is um, uh, move the pivot point on this cube. Right now the pivot point on the cube is in the middle but you may want to be able to, you may want to move it to uh, one side or other and to move the pivot point you go to, you press the insert button on your keyboard and then holding down, let's say we want to move the pivot point to the top of the cube, holding down the V key move it up like that and V is snaps to the vertex so I'm holding down the V key and my left mouse button and that will snap it to the vertices at the top of the cube so now if I rotate my cube it's going to rotate from that direction and this is very useful we can now snap this um, actually uh, to say let's say we want to snap the um, cube to the bottom of the grid so it's sort of suspended from the grid we can do that by uh, holding down the X key and the left mouse button so being able to snap to the grid is a useful thing to be able to do so you should practice this make sure you know how to do um, X grid snaps um, and also uh, V for vertices grid snaps um, another useful um, way of snapping is let's say we want to I press E for rotate if I want to rotate this cube say I want to rotate it so it it, it, it sits on the uh, sits on the grid uh, I can hold down the J key and that will do me a rotational snap wait a minute that's not working right so holding down J and there we go so that is a rotation snap so the three basic snaps X to snap to the grid uh, v to snap to vertices and J to snap to a rotation. Now let's go back to the move tool W uh, and if I hold down X again I should be able to snap that so it's now sitting on the grid again. So that is the basic principle of grid snapping. Uh, do have a go at that, practice that because um, when you're modeling things it helps to be able to get things mathematically precise and not just roughly lined up um, and uh, sort of vaguely eyeballed.